Hello everyone, this is Faisal Saeed al Mutar and I'm going to be talking about elections. This is the first time I've ever voted in the United States. It is the third time in my life. The first two were in the Iraqi elections and I voted first in Lebanon and the second time I voted here in the United States near the Iraqi embassy in Washington, D.C. But this is the first time I vote in the United States elections. And considering that this is the week that this election will be decided, I'm obviously feeling uh, some anxiety about the outcome and how will it be and how will it be for uh, refugees and immigrants, considering that this is part of my identity and part of the cause that I care about. So um, I really encourage everybody to vote in the elections, whether it's in the US or anywhere else, especially with the countries that have elections and allow people to vote, not just on the presidential level, but also on the local level, where your voice can actually make a real difference that you can see it on the ground. Well, if you vote for a mayor or if you're for the city council, you actually can see the result in your own eyes about how things will turn out to be on, on the ground. So I highly encourage everybody to register and I highly encourage everybody to make their voice heard. And that's, I think, what is very important. While the candidates may not represent all of your views and there is never gonna be a candidate that represent all of your views, except if, if you <laughs> run for elections yourself. However, there are some things that I'm sure that you can find in common with some of the candidates, whether what they stand on immigration, whether what they stand on the economy, where, where they stand on science and the challenges of climate change, um, and also where what are the um, Supreme Court justices who, in many cases, decide uh, the future and the, and the future of the laws and the interpretation of the laws in the United States. So um, I highly encourage that you don't uh, become an idealist and you don't let perfect be the enemy of the good. In many cases that you find candidates who you might, may, they are not necessarily gonna be your best friends. They're not necessarily gonna be the people you're gonna hang out with or the people who you're gonna marry. However, there are gonna be some values that I'm sure you can find in common with them. So um, my, really my background and my interest in elections came when I was young and I voted for the first time in Iraq uh, for the Iraqi elections when I was 18 years old. And uh, there were many choices on the ballot. In Iraq, we have a parliamentary system. So you don't vote for the president, you vote for a coalition uh, of parties and that, ha that exists and they organize sometimes weeks before the elections. And I made sure that I vote every year. And I vote every, sorry, I vote every time I get the chance to vote. And mainly, number one, because I understand it's a privilege. Many people around the world, there are 7 billion people live on this planet. And if you look at Freedom House, which is an organization that tracks elections, um, only very few countries um, have elections. And, if, and, and the fact that it was available um, in my country of birth and then here in the States, it's, it's something that I really value knowing that there are people who are dying for it as we speak. So I value that. And I value the fact that as a human, no matter what your income is, no matter what your status, your background, you matter. What you say matters. And if you organize and get many people like you who, who care about the same values and you get them to vote, then you can collectively, all of us can get our voice heard. Thank you very much and see you next time.